Hello and welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zim. I am Dr. Abstract and in this bubbling we're going to take a look at custom cursors in Zim. So Zim 014 is launched with uh, some new features and that's what we're going through in these in these bubblings. Uh, you check out the other bubblings as well and in this one we're looking at the custom cursors. So we're going to zimjs.com and we're pressing on examples here and then we want this one the custom cursors. And here we are, and that gives us a cursor that we can pick up and drag that circle. If we're over the box, it gives us an animated cursor. And if we're off the box here, it gives us a particle emitter. And if we're off the stage, then it gives us the normal cursor again. Wow, so that was a lot of fun to make this. Um, various people have, have requested it. We took the normal pointer on that as well. Uh, various people have requested it and it was always hard to do and if something is hard to do it's probably best just to do it in the framework rather than make everybody do it and possibly make mistakes. So uh, let's see how we can implement this then. F11 down and move this aside and here is the code for that so we're bringing in zim014 right there. Here's where we're setting our cursor, so it's right on the frame. That's frame, so we're given the frame, the stage, the width, and the height there. So right on the frame, we say cursors, and you apply an object uh, literal with the type of cursor and what object you want to be for that. Here's the type default. We want an emitter type box, so we've made that up. That's a made up one, and we want that rectangle. So pointer is what, it's a CSS pointer, would normally be a finger, and that's commonly used by Zim Drag, for instance. So if you're gonna drag something or tap on something, you'll get a finger. And so this will replace whatever dragger is, um, that finger will be replaced with dragger. Dragger happens to be a new circle that we're adding some things to, and that's what is giving us this new circle, the white circle there, with the, the triangles. And we are using that as we drag it. So there's the white circle, and then we added a bunch of little arrows around to that, adding them to the dragger, and then we said the custom cursor will be this dragger right here. We could have just said new circle right there, and then we would have had a new circle uh, instead of the pointer finger. Here we're making an emitter, and we're emitting a bunch of circles. Here we are uh, making a rectangle that is animating its dashed property. That's what is making this happen. That's it's dashed and we can animate the dashed offset to get a marquee effect and that is rewind and looping. We could just make it loop and it would continue to go around in a circle. You can exclude certain things from the... oh that's interesting. I wonder... it looks like we have not up uploaded this maybe because that cursor exclude the logo where was the logo uh, oh that's if there were a logo did we put that in the footer oh yeah okay sorry about that got confused here um we don't even have a logo do we not really i'll get rid of that then yeah i think so all right, so that was the rectangle and the circle that we were rolling over. And then here is the footer, and there's the exclude of the footer right there. So uh, that means, yeah, custom cursors, you go ahead, but please don't, don't we're not going to put the custom cursors on the footer. Cool. And all that can be found in the docs as well, uh, if you want to see it. Let's go there now. So I click on the Zim. I hit docs right there. And it's part of the frame. So we expand, open the frame. And then it will be the properties. So that the, those were the parameters right here. Sorry, parameters of the frame, the methods of the frame. And then here are the properties of the frame right here. So the properties, cursors. Okay, along with the link to the file that we were just looking at, and then the format, the cursor exclude. You're going to be given a cursor object as well. So frame has a cursor object property that represents whatever the current uh, custom cursor is. Okay, and then a list and some other things. 
All right, I think that's it then. Isn't that cool? So that should be very handy for you. And I am Dr. Abstract. Come visit us on Discord or Slack right there up in the top of the site. Those used to be down at the bottom. We've now moved them right up into the top corner. All right, uh, that is because, if we scroll to the bottom there, we've added the dev articles and TikTok. Uh, so find us on TikTok. If you do TikTok, we certainly need some followers there. Help! <laughs> All right. So uh, see you guys later. I'm Dr. Abstract for What's Bubbling at Zim. Have a great day or night. Cheers. <laughs>